this fearsome one wok wonder. It's a teriyaki chicken, so simple, you'll want to cook it every day. Welcome back to Wok Wednesday, I'm Jeremy from School of Wok and this is as easy as one, two, three. In fact, we're going to start with a wok clock. And if you don't know the wok clock by now, then here's what it is. You start at 12 o'clock with your first ingredient and I'm going to start with some spring onion. Just rough chops of spring onion will do. I quite like a lot of spring onion for this. And this is so quick and easy. It's perfect for any time of the week, really. So I'm going to start at 12 o'clock. And I've already got some matchsticks of ginger here, some garlic, just roughly sliced or roughly chopped, just so that I can kind of flavour the oil before anything else goes in. You can pretty much put whatever veg you want into here. I've got some sugar snap peas that I'm going to just place onto my wok clock. And then I've got some baby corn, which I am going to just slice in half. I quite like the length and shape of baby corn. And that will add just a nice sweet crunch. But you can see how easy this is. With my wok clock set up, I'm going to slice up my chicken, make a teriyaki sauce, and then very quickly put this together. My red chilli, optional, you don't have to use it, but quite like it for a bit of colour. Yeah, pop them there. Chicken thighs have that lovely flavour of the fat in there. I'm just going to thin it out slightly. And I'm going to go for lengths because I've got my sort of lengths of veg. So that can complement the texture of the whole dish. And this is the sort of food that I'd cook when I was a student. It's, you know, cheap, cheerful, nice and easy, but packed full of flavour. I mean, there's so many different ways to making a teriyaki. But this is just a simple teriyaki stir fry. I'm actually going to start because I've got a fair bit of chicken here and I don't want to lose too much heat in this stir fry. So I'm going to start by searing my chicken thigh. Make sure the wok is really super hot. You want to see that oil smoking. The last thing I've got to do before I start stir frying is just get this sauce mixed together. I've got some soft brown sugar, some Japanese soy, and then the same amount of mirin and sake. Really simple Japanese pantry ingredients. Once that oil is smoking hot, your chicken can go in. Now just lay that in carefully so it doesn't spit too much at you. And then spread those pieces of chicken out so that they all get a good amount of that high heat. At this point, I'd recommend not sort of moving anything around the wok too much. If you want, just sort of press in with your spatula to allow one side of those chicken pieces to sear and get a good bit of colour. You're talking about 30 seconds to a minute before you then turn them and sear the other side. So once you've got a nice little bit of colour around the edge of the chicken pieces, I'd recommend taking that out just so we've got we can build enough heat to bring out the flavour of the rest of the ingredients. Just letting that chicken fat really sort of flavour the wok, because all this flavour is going to come back into the food in a second. My spring onion, starting at 12 o'clock with my wok clock. Sear that and get that flavour of the spring onion into that oil or fat. Very quickly you can move on to your ginger and your garlic. Fold that through and just allow that to the boast the base ingredients to pick up all that chicken fat and the flavour. A little bit of chilli, you know what, I'm just going to go in with the chilli and the greens. So my sugar snaps. Give that a couple of flicks through, try and keep the stuff in the wok. And then Continue to stir fry for the next 30 seconds or so. My 
baby corn, if you're using it, I don't like to cook for too long because I really want to keep the crunch. So that goes in next. And then my chicken pieces can just come back in to the wok. Allow that to sit whilst it's building up more heat all the way through that wok. Because this sauce is quite liquidy and I want it to really bubble up vigorously when, as soon as it hits the wok. That sugar should caramelise nice and quickly. Again, don't move this too much quite yet. Allow this sauce to kind of start to caramelise before digging in and swirling it around. Now we can see it's starting to just catch around the edges of the wok. That's the point where you want to fold that through underneath and then let it come to a vigorous boil again. So you want to sort of repeat that process of allowing it to vigorously boil for about 30 seconds to a minute and then giving it a stir. You want to do that for about three or four minutes until your sauce gets to a point where it's kind of wrapping around the chicken a little bit more. I'd like to push that a little bit further and get it to a little bit more of a syrupy texture. You'll know when you're done, when the sauce is wrapped, it's just slightly changed into a sort of deeper brown colour. And when you flick the wok around, you'll see that sauce wrapping around the chicken as opposed to just kind of the chicken swimming in the sauce. At this point, I do want a little bit of sauce to sort of mop up any rice and things like that. So, serve it up. Teriyaki chicken. Really easy wok cooking, but with a little technique. Hope you enjoy it as much as I am. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Ding! Hit that notification bell. We'll see you soon.